We are back on the Richard Fowler Show with Sister Simone, nuns on the bus. So you guys are on the bus here at the inauguration, on the steps of the Capitol. How does it feel? It feels amazing. What a day to be here and to know that progress, change can happen, and that we can come together as a nation to make a difference for each other. It's fabulous. Now, sort of previewing this next in the, this next term of President Obama, what do you expect from this president, uh, and what 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 are, what are the nuns expecting? Well, the nuns are expecting that we continue to work at change. Uh, first of all, we have to finish the financial work that we started. They've got to settle this and get it done. And then we've got to move on to immigration. Immigration is a key thing. And at the same time, we have to be able to end gun violence. I mean, it's ridiculous that we should be such a violent nation when we're all dedicated to democracy. Let's end this violence. And what does an end like? What does an end of immigration look like to you? Oh, immigration. Or a start of, I guess, a the start immigration. Of, a start of immigration. Respect Responsible immigration to me looks like a path to citizenship for the 11 million people here that are supporting our nation but don't have papers. Making sure that we've got reasonable ways for folks to come in in the future. And all of us coming together, knowing our immigration roots. I'm, I'm the child or granddaughter of an immigrant. Let's know that we're all immigrants together. It's about the 100% being better as a nation. And do you think, is, it, is that going to happen piecemeal or is it going to be a comprehensive package? Do you think the DREAM Act is going to happen first and then it's going to be a comprehensive patch, package after that? or it's going to be a big deal and get it all done? Uh, I, I don't know from the tea leaves. I think we better do it all at once because we've got limited time, limited energy. So let's do it all at once. Let's make it happen. It's too important to do piecemeal. We've got to do it now. And where is the bus going next? Uh, well, actually, the bus come June, I believe, is going to do nuns on the border. What we're going to do is go to a Ver Ellis Island, all of the, the sites of immigration, plus to our, big ci or to our cities to show that there are borders every place. We have to bridge those borders, and immigration is the way forward to do it. And, you know, I think bridging the borders also bridges the gap in what we've, uh, what we've, what's become very hateful politics that we have in this oh, country. Oh, amen. We've got to, we've got to bridge that gap. I, I often speak in front of what I call mixed audiences, Democrats and Republicans, but I'm a Democrat, but I say to Republicans, take your, take your party back. We need to govern together. We need business at the table. We need to talk about different perspectives, but we need to work together because that's, that's who we are as a nation. That's democracy. That's making democracy work. I think today's a great example of democracy. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I love it. It's fabulous. Well, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. <laughs>